Hey team, welcome back to another social media for business tutorial. And if we're meeting for the first time, my name's Stuart. Thanks for getting started with us today. Now in this Instagram ads tutorial for beginners, I'm going to show you exactly how to create and run ads on Instagram for your small business. Instagram is a powerful photo and video sharing social media owned by Facebook and currently has over 1 billion monthly active users, making it an ideal marketing channel for small and local businesses. Now, just quickly, before I go ahead and show you how to create and run ads on Instagram, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to grow your small business online. And with that covered, let's dive into this Instagram ads tutorial for beginners. <music> Okay guys, so first things first, what we need to do before we go ahead and create and run our Instagram ads is we need to do two things. We need to create a business manager by heading over to business.facebook.com and creating a free business manager account. Then following this, what we need to do is create an ads account. Now this is again free to do so and it's very straightforward to both create a business manager and an ads account. So what you need to do is head up here to create account and simply navigate through the process of creating a business manager and ads account. It's very straightforward. And what we will do is meet you at your ads account. Now, the reason you want to create a business manager is if you decide to create multiple accounts, you can keep them within your business manager. And if one ads account is deactivated, it does not affect your business manager and you have other ads that you can manage through your business manager. Also, if you're working with potential clients or other Facebook pages and other ad accounts, you can connect them to your business manager. So we always recommend people create a business manager and then an ads account. However, you can go ahead and just create an ads account if you like, but we recommend creating a business manager. So what we'll do is leave you to do that, take the time and we will meet you at your ads manager. Okay, so as you can see, we are within Facebook and we've already set up our business manager and gone ahead and added an ads account for the purpose of this tutorial. So just like us, once you've gone ahead and created your ads account, all we need to do is navigate over to ads manager. And under your ads manager, this is where the magic happens. This is where you can go ahead and create ads for both Instagram and Facebook. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, Facebook owns Instagram, which means that both marketing channels are all in one place. You can manage both channels or where you want to market, either Facebook or on Instagram, you can manage those ads or campaigns all in one place. Now, if you don't already have a Facebook business page, what I'll do is I'll link a tutorial up above which will guide you through how to create a Facebook business page so you can start advertising on Facebook. Now, assuming you already have a Instagram account, and if you don't, what I'll do is show you how to create a Instagram business account up above again this is a tutorial which will take you through how to create a business Instagram account okay so now assuming that you have an Instagram business account what we want to do is dive into the ads manager so you understand what the ads manager is all about so as you can see we have campaigns now this is the top level of your ads we have a campaign level ad set level and ads and we're going to talk more about this when we go ahead and actually create your first campaign your first ad and then down here when you've created an ad or multiple ads this is where you can see all the information surrounding your ad so you can measure results you can optimize your ads you can increase your budget you can do a lot of stuff down here in regards to optimizing your ads, changing your ads, pausing or starting your ads, and essentially measuring the results of your ads because you want to make sure that your ads are performing well and you can monitor and optimize them down here. So with that covered, let's navigate over to create and go ahead and create your first Instagram ad. So come up here and click create. 
And then here, what we want to do is choose the campaign objective. So what do you want to achieve with your ads? Now, the common ones we tend to pick are brand awareness. So driving brand awareness, growing your brand, essentially getting your brand in front of people that are most likely to remember your brand. Then we have traffic, which is essentially to send people to your website, to a particular website page, to learn more information or to take a specific action on your website. Then we have engagement, which could be likes, shares, follows. Now this is if you're using Facebook as well as Instagram. So engagement would be on Instagram, it would be likes, it would be follows, it could be comments under your ads. Then we have conversions, and this is basically driving sales, or it could be capturing information from a contact form. It could be anything to do with essentially getting a customer to do something on your website and you measure that as a conversion. So for us, for the purpose of this tutorial, we just want people to essentially click on our ad and be sent to our website. So essentially people will click on our small business ad on Instagram and that will send them to our website to learn more information about our local or small business. So once you've clicked either brand awareness, traffic, conversions or engagement, then come down here and click on name your campaign and here we want to name our campaign. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to name this campaign driving traffic from Instagram. And then down here, we're going to name this Instagram audience. And then once you've named your ad set, come down to ad and we want to name our ad Instagram ad. Now it doesn't actually matter what you name each of these campaign levels, you can change this at any time. So once you've added names down here, come down and click continue. And then the last thing we need to do on the campaign level, as you can see here, the campaign name, driving traffic from Instagram, is to navigate down to campaign budget optimization and turn this on. And basically what that's gonna allow you to do is set a daily budget. So for us, we're gonna allow that as a daily budget. You can also select lifetime budget, but we're gonna select daily budget and then click $5. Now you can change that if you like. I recommend getting started with five to $10 and then you can slowly increase your ad spend when you believe that your ad is performing well and you can see that on your analytics. So start off at $5 a day, daily budget and basically what campaign budget optimization does when it's turned on is it evenly spreads your budget, so your daily budget, for us it's $5 a day USD and this is spread evenly across all your different ad sets. Now we're gonna move on to ad sets now and basically this is creating different audience types. So if you wanna target different audiences, you can do that at the ad set level. And we're gonna jump into that now. So once you've turned your campaign budget optimization on and you've set your daily budget, then come down and click next. And then here, just like I pointed out before, we have arrived on our ad set level and we named our ad set Instagram audience from the campaign level. Remember we named all these different levels. So the campaign name, ad set name and ad name. We've already named each of these different levels. So now we're on to the ad set level, which we've named Instagram audience. Then if we navigate down to traffic, you can see that we've selected website traffic. Remember, we pick this on the campaign level. Basically, we want to send traffic from Instagram to our website. Then if we navigate down to dynamic creative, basically this allows you to essentially upload different headlines, different content, different media. And what Facebook does is it dynamically places your ads based on which audience is going to perform the best. So if you have multiple images that you want to run, what this does is allows you to, rather than creating multiple ads, rather than creating, let's say, five ads, you upload five images to one ad, and then Facebook is going to find the best one that works with your audience and deliver that one more. So dynamic creative is ideal to turn on, click continue and again this is going to allow you to save time down the track rather than creating dozens of individual ads. Then come down to budget and schedule. Now remember we selected a daily budget so here what you want to do is make sure you have a start date and an end date. How many days do you want to advertise for? Remember our budget was five dollars a day so how many days do you want to advertise for? Start date I'm going to make that today 
and then yep I'm happy with that start time you can change that here if you like then come down to end time and the day is going to be one week from today which is Tuesday the 3rd so my ad is going to run for seven days then you can come down here and I'm just going to select six o'clock so it's exactly seven days I'm actually going to change this to zero zero I'm happy with that so six to six so one week difference my ad is going to run for one week then you can come down here and select your audience now this is one of the most important parts to actually creating an ad and this is where you want to identify your audience so here what you do is come over to locations and select your location so for us we're targeting New Zealand because we're a small or local business what we want to do is actually exit out of New Zealand we actually want to type in a local area in New Zealand called Tauranga and I'm happy with that so Tauranga Bay of Plenty region and then you can come over here and change your area radius if you like I'm happy with 40 kilometers and I just want to target Tauranga Bay of Plenty this particular region this particular city so make sure you select the right area that you want to target for your small or local business Instagram ad then come down here and select the age I'm happy with 18 to 65 then gender you can select male or female I'm happy with all genders then down on detailed targeting this is where you want to select particular interests so select edit and let's say this ad is about cars so for the purpose of this tutorial the business we're going to use today is a car dealer so we want to sell cars and we're going to create a car based ad on Instagram so what are some of the kind of demographics interests or behaviors my audience would have so think about that take the time what I would do is come down here and type in car and then I can come down here and select electric car so people that are interested in electric cars I can type in car again and come down to sports cars I want to target those that are interested in sports cars and then let's say that I sell Ford cars as well so I'm going to type in Ford the brand and I can come down here and select any of these interests so as you can see Ford Motor Company it is an interest the size is over 150 million individuals that are interested in Ford then you can see that this is this is the description down there and the interest type so each time you select an interest a demographic or a behavior you're gonna see the information on the right hand side so I'm gonna select Ford Motor Company and then what I want to do is add one more and I'm gonna add a demographic so with my particular audience I tend to sell cars to families so those that have kids so larger cars so I'm gonna type in parents and as you can see all these options appear so parents with adult children parents with teenagers parents with preteens and there's many options down here and as you can see rather than it being an interest it is now a demographic so I'm going to select all parents and as you can see I now have one demographic and three interests so I'm happy with that I'm going to click out of here and then come down and I can exclude particular people so for example I could click exclude and then under exclude audience I could type in let's say motorbikes or as you can see down here we have motorcycles so maybe I don't sell motorcycles or my particular audience doesn't actually like motorcycles so I could select motorcycles and as you can see I've excluded people that are interested in motorcycles so if someone out of my audience is interested in any of these interests here or is a parent but they also like motorcycles then I won't be targeting them I'm telling Facebook I'm telling Instagram that I want to exclude people that match this interest here behavior or demographic however for the purpose of this tutorial my audience might actually be interested in the motorcycles for example a dad could be interested in motocross so I want to actually get rid of this I'm gonna click exit and if I like I could actually add motocross or motorcycles in here as an added target audience then we can come down here and target a specific language but I want to target all languages so I'm gonna leave that as it is then if we navigate back up to the top now with locations the last thing before we move on is I'm targeting people living in or recently in this location so I can select any of these options here if I like I want to select people living in this location because I'm a small or local business uh, that's targeting the specific region so I want people that actually live here not that are just traveling through so people living in this location 
then we can come down and we can save this audience if we like but I'm going to leave that as it is then under placements this is extremely important what we want to do is come down and select manual placements and this is where we start targeting Instagram only to do that all we're going to do is come over here and untick Facebook untick audience network and then untick messenger and as you can see all we're targeting now is Instagram now you have the option to target either Instagram feed so as you can see that's selected and that is what it looks like then we have Instagram explore which will look like this and then we also have Instagram stories which will look like this so I'm actually pretty happy with that I could target all three uh, different areas of Instagram but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm actually going to get rid of Instagram stories and Instagram explore and just focus on Instagram feed that's because when I go and actually create the ad my ad is going to be a particular size so if I select let's say Instagram stories you can tell that this is a large scale image or video whereas Instagram feed is quite small so I only want to target this channel here on Instagram because it's a square image which I'm going to create or a square video However, what I would do is create just an Instagram feed ad and then what I'll do is go ahead and actually create a new campaign just like we've showed you today and I would only target Instagram stories and I'd create ads that are the same scale as what is shown on Instagram stories. So I hope that makes sense. I'm just going to target Instagram feed. Most of the time, especially when you're focusing on conversions, Instagram feed is the best place to show up in terms of placements. So this is where your ads are going to show. So I've got Instagram feed selected. That is the only place that my ads are going to show. I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to navigate down here and I'm happy with link clicks. So optimize for ad delivery, link clicks, because remember I selected traffic. Then up here you can see a little snippet of information about how defined your audience is. You want to be relatively defined and targeted with your audience. So you want to make sure that it says your audience is defined. As we are a local and small business, we're targeting a specific location. So our audience is naturally going to be quite defined. And then we have our potential reach down here. So I'm happy with that. Come down and click next. And that's going to take us on to Instagram ad. And here we are under Instagram ad. So this is the ad level. So we've already completed the campaign level, ad set level, and now we're on the ad level, which is called Instagram ad. Remember we named this before, you can change that name here. Then under identity, you wanna make sure that you have your business page selected, and more importantly, your Instagram account, because remember, we're not actually targeting anyone on Facebook, we're only targeting people on Instagram. So make sure you have your Instagram selected here. If it's not connected, if you cannot see your Instagram account here, then what you need to do is actually connect your Instagram business account with your Facebook business page. And then you'll be able to select your Instagram account here. Now you'll notice that we're using this business here and not a car dealership like we described we're gonna be using in terms of creating an ad for a car dealership. We're actually just selecting this business page because it's a business that we made a while ago for the purpose of tutorials. So it's not actually a real business. But what we're actually gonna do is create an ad for a car dealership. So don't take too much notice of the pages that we've selected here. Then navigate down to Ad Setup. Now under Ad Setup, you'll notice that Dynamic Creative is enabled. Remember, within the Ad Set level, we turned Dynamic Creative on, which means Facebook will allow us to add multiple text, descriptions, and media to our ads, and Facebook will go ahead and choose the best one that works in combination to deliver to our audience. Then you have the option to select a single image or video or carousel. For us, we're gonna select a single image or video, and for the purpose of this tutorial, because video is more engaging than text or image, we're gonna create a video ad. Then what you wanna do is come down here to Add Creative, and here is where you want to select images or videos. You can also create a slideshow or create a video 
from photos. So for us, we're going to go ahead and select a video. Now before we do that, what we're going to use is a software called InVideo. And InVideo actually allows you to seamlessly and easily create videos within minutes for social media for advertising. So if we head over to InVideo.io, this is a simple video editing software that you can use to quickly go ahead and create videos within minutes. Now, remember, we're focusing on Instagram. So if, say, for example, we were targeting the Instagram story, we could click Instagram story. And then down here, there's a bunch of templates that you can choose from and you can customize the way that you like. And then you have access to hundreds and thousands of media in terms of stock images and videos that you can quickly smash together and add text and essentially create your own video ad. For example, we have this car ad here, mega sale on cars, and I can click this and that's going to show me the entire video here. I can choose wide or square. But because this is for a Instagram story, it's going to show up like this. And I can choose this and use the template and start customizing it the way that I like. But what I want to do, because remember we selected Instagram feed, so we want to go ahead and select Instagram post. So a square like video. So if I come down here and again, we have that same video on cars here. So I'm going to select this one because remember we're creating a video ad or an ad for a car dealership. So I like the look of this one. Then all you need to do is click use template. Now we're actually not going to go ahead and create a video and show you how to do it in this tutorial. But what I'll do is I'll put a link up above which will take you through a beginner's tutorial which shows you how to use invideo.io from start to finish within essentially about 10 minutes. So you can go ahead create a video within 10 minutes and use it for social media for your Instagram ad or Facebook ad if you're targeting Facebook as well. So we'll put that link up above and you can click on that and use InVideo to create your own video ads. Now we've also got the link in the description below. Remember this is a affiliate link, which means if you decide to purchase through this link and you decide to use InVideo, then we will get paid a small commission. And that essentially helps us create content for this channel. So thank you in advance. So what I'm going to do for the purpose of this tutorial is quickly download this video and head back to our ad creation dashboard. And now I want to upload the video I just downloaded from InVideo. So I'm going to navigate over to select videos and then navigate up to upload and then upload this video that I just downloaded. And then as you can see, I've uploaded the video. I'm going to come down here and click continue. And what I can do is actually upload more if I like. So I'm going to come up here and click preview on because I want to see what this video will look like with the ad. And then come down here and add a primary text and headline. So I'm going to go ahead and add one primary text and one headline and then add a URL. So where I want people to be sent to when they click on this ad. Now I want them to be sent to my website. So I'm going to add that down there. And as you can see, we've quickly gone ahead and added primary text headline and our website URL. So our primary text is down here below the ad. As you can see, this is the video ad that we uploaded. Over here is learn more. If someone clicks on this, it's going to take them to this website URL down here. Then we have our description, so our primary text, and that is get 40% off your new car. So I'm happy with that and then a bit of a description down here. So make your primary text compelling if people want to read about what your post is all about. Then you can add a headline if you like. This is more important for Facebook ads and then your URL. So your website URL where you want to send traffic to. Then down here you can add a display link if you like. And then more importantly we got call to action. So I can click learn more or I could select any of these call to actions. So I'm happy with learn more because I want people to head to our website and learn more from Instagram. Then what you want to do because we selected dynamic creative, what that allows us to do is add up to five primary texts, up to five headlines, and then different call to actions if we like. And Facebook is going to go ahead and deliver the best combination. We can also add more media here. We've got one out of 10. We can add up to 10 images or videos. And Facebook is going to use its magic and come up with the best combinations that your audience is going to engage with on Instagram. So this is what the ad is going to look like. I'm happy with that. 
Then when you're happy, you've filled out all this information, come down and select publish. And that is it guys for this Instagram ads tutorial for beginners. You should now have the complete confidence to create and run your own ads on Instagram for your small business. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video through to the end. If you got value from this tutorial, make sure you leave a like. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.